Topo, welcome in and congratulations on being the first person here, even if you're not claiming first. Um, and thank you very much for that treat for the bar staff. Wow, captions. That, that's not the word I said. I said two words and you gave me one word. That, that, that's not helpful. Today's gonna go so well. We're doing a Japanese learning game today. Titters, welcome in. Congratulations on being officially the fastest thing alive. Claiming first in the chat for this stream. Anything that else that happened in the chat prior to this does not matter. You were officially first. Hope you're doing well. Topo, thank you very much for the bunny rabbit. Yeah, we're doing a, a, a Japanese learning game today. Um, because Kimela kept harassing me and telling me that I had that I was running out of time to actually cover it. So I've been wanting to do it anyway, but time be weird, yo. You know. Um. But yeah, if the captions can't even say bar staff today. There we go. Well done, captions. You got it the second time. Um, then we're doomed with the Japanese words, aren't we? I'm quite looking forward to this. Flip-flopping between amber and red flood warnings here. Yeah, we've got a, a big old yellow warning at the moment and it is shitting it down the dog is not happy hi mum welcome in hope you're doing well today <sighs> oh very nice titters very nice holy shit the caption's got your name right I mean, I'd prefer it if it went with the Ds, seen as I'm saying the Ds, but, you know, take what we can get. Glad to hear it, ma'am. Hello, Soup. Welcome in. Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. <sighs> as you can tell, I'm a little sleepy today. Oh, bless. You're such a sweetie, Tidders. That is also not what I said, captions. I know I'm kind of sleepy, but hot damn. Yeah, uh, I hope you're doing well today, Soup. I was going to say that after I welcomed you in, but I was... Uh, <sighs> busy doing this. Oh, excuse me. Oh, you bugger. I'm way more tired than I thought I was. This is going to be a very interesting stream been a fairly chill day we love to hear it you've had a pretty rough time of it recently so um i'm glad that you've been able to have a nice chill day <sighs> warm up break is almost over Wow, it feels like it's taking forever today. And I'm gonna have to move my microphone because the captions aren't picking me up because I'm talking slightly quieter than usual because I'm sleepy. Uh, uh, excuse me. Oh, good grief. I was fine until I finished work and then all of a sudden I'm just knackered. Hey, Tabby, welcome in. Are you doing well today? No, I said I'm hope I hope Tabby is doing well captions. I'm not doing well. I'm fucking knackered. No, knackered. Try again. There you go. Wow, captions. Wow. This is going so well. <laughs> How do you do, fellow normal human beings? I think we've got the tired squad in today. And hey, look at that, the warm-up break is over. Okay, let, let's do the thing. Hi. Um, hang on. Uh, I, I don't like the amount of microphone in my camera screen. <laughs> There's too much, too much microphone. Um, hi everyone, I have to do the thing. 
Um, you may have already seen, because I know Twitch does a thing where when you tick the box, it puts the thing up about this, but this is technically a sponsored stream. I received this game, which is in early access at the moment, for free from the publishers. Uh, exclamation mark promo will get you the uh, link to the Steam page if you decide you want to wishlist this um, for when it comes out. Um, Oh, yeah, I get that, Soup. I am partway through building a new quarterly review process. Um, not like a, a buzzwordy one, like an actually useful one. Uh, but... Uh, getting my head around the process is tiring. Hey, Beefcake, welcome in. Yokai, you say? I, I do say yokai. Um... So this is UK and the Book of Yokai. It is a Japanese language learning game with Yokai, which, well, <laughs> this is my whole, it was made for me. <laughs> um, people are starting to get upset that I've not submitted timesheet data in months, but that sounds like a them problem. Yeah, that's a them problem. I mean, as long as they keep paying you, that's that's what matters. <laughs> um, I'll prepare my hand for excited desk slapping. Excellent. So, hello, there. hello mod help. Welcome in. Yokai language learning game. Yes. Um, you can see why I requested a copy of this, can't you? So, yes, I've received this product for free. I've never played it before. Um, but as always with a product that I receive for free, you will know what I think about this. I will not lie about my opinions. I will say again, it is in early access, so I am going to give it the benefit of the doubt on some of the jank that we might experience. But if I enjoy the overall gameplay and the way it teaches, that's the important thing. Because if the, the foundation is solid, then they can iron out the creases later. Um, but yes, I am quite looking forward to playing this. Um, much as I have been sort of forced into it because I've only got six days left before they take the key off of me and tell me off for not covering it when I promised I would. Um, jank, 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 jank. Yep. We love a little bit of jank. Um, but yeah, uh, you can't see it because my avatar's in the way, but this is currently in version 0.5.20 beta. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it is not a fully formed game yet and that is A-OK -okay. why can't it just be here's your KPI here's how you match up to them here's what we can do to help improve things is there anything else yeah exactly that's what a quarterly review of your performance should be in my opinion soup but so many places don't do it that way K is for Kappa they suck the soul from your ass T is for Tanuki they have magical balls not all of them have magical balls, but most of them. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know how this is going to work out. I, I don't know anything about it other than that it's about yokai and that you learn Japanese through it. I do know from having had a little play in the settings that you can toggle furigana. So for anyone that doesn't know, furigana is... Um, there are three different... Uh, scripts in Japanese. There is hiragana, katakana, and kanji. Uh, kanji is the most complicated one and has a lot of Chinese derivatives, but they are very separate things. Chinese people, unless they have learnt Japanese, can't read Japanese and vice versa. <laughs> um, they can sort of intuit some things, but very little. There's a lot less overlap than people think. Um, but Cuss little kids struggle with uh, kanji. Um, a lot of media that's aimed at younger audiences or people learning Japanese hi, um, have furigana. Furigana is um, little versions of hiragana and katakana that go over the top 
of the kanji and explain <laughs> little kids and gaijin yeah exactly um and the explain um what the the kanji is in terms of how it's pronounced he really toggles my furigana yeah <laughs> Same difference, ne? <laughs> Bravo. Bra Bravo. <laughs> um, yeah, so we are going to be toggling the furigana. I want to see how that works. And also, I can't read kanji. I know one kanji. It is Sakura. That is the only kanji I know. <laughs> and even then, I still uh, get it mixed up with other things that look slightly similar because I am a filthy gaijin. And I haven't done a lot of kanji learning. I've only learned um, hiragana and katakana. And that was a decade ago. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Don't have an um, existential crisis on stream, Hobbs. Nobody needs that. Ah, uh, this pops up when you go back to the main menu. Welcome to the early access version of UK and the box, uh, the box, the book of Yokai. Embark on a thrilling journey into a world filled with mystical creatures and ancient secrets. Your feedback is invaluable to us as we shape this adventure into its final form. We haven't even seen its final form. Join our community on Discord, link available on the Steam page, to share your thoughts, suggestions and experiences. While we work to balance the battles for full release, your input at every step of the way is greatly appreciated. Let's make this journey together. We don't need to see that again. I forget what the difference is between furigana and katakana. So uh, furigana is uh, little hiragana that go over the top of kanji to explain how to pronounce kanji. Uh, hiragana is the simplified script used for Japanese words and katakana is the simplified script used for loan words. So like computer. Uh, computer is written in uh, katakana. Uh, neko, cat, is written in hiragana. And you can see here, this is this is a, a kanji, this is a kanji, this is a hiragana, this is a kanji, uh, this is hiragana, this is these are these are these are, they look like they might be katakana actually. Huh. Now that can't be right. Why would Yuki's name be in um Hmm, fascinating. Furigana equals training wheels for kanji. Yep. Katakana equals special letters for filthy foreigner words. <laughs> Harsh but accurate. <laughs> okay. Let's get into this. <gasps> Look at the little friend. You're here. Ah, where are my manners? Feel free to call me Mjolkun. Hi, Mjolkun. I'm just a local protection yokai. A god, if you will. But I'm a bit frail, so... Oh my god, they just like me for real. Please help me ward off the evil ones. Choose your path freely and try to overcome all of them until you reach the end. Anjin Summer? <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll take that. We'll take it. If I recall correctly, even adults use furigana for kanji they've not seen before. Yeah, they do. You don't see it as often in stuff that's uh, directed towards adults, but for words that don't get used very often, you might see it, yeah. Hello, Cyborg. Welcome in. Like your pocket dictionary will have the furigana. Yeah, it probably does, actually. I've got a Japanese pocket dictionary. I've never bothered to look. Oh, no, Bushi kawaii desu. I love that. That's fantastic. Okay. 
I'll support you from the sidelines, answer my quiz questions correctly, learn Japanese, and earn my boons. Not my bones, my boons! God damn it, captions! <laughs> Boon! There we go, oh my god. You can't have my bones! <laughs> captions are gonna fucking kill me this stream, I swear. Have fun earning your bones. Thanks, Tids. <laughs> Enjoy your lurk. Put your feet up in the lurkers' lounge and relax. But I really want your bones. Trust me, you don't. They are riddled with arthritis. <clears throat> I'm aware that's not how that works, but you know what I mean. Speaking of which, listen up. I'll give you some pointers. Ready to dive in? Complete the tutorial and hit start when you're good to go. Quiz selection. Choose your quiz topics for this round. Correct answers will earn you energy to play cards. Okay. Pick a route and navigate to the map's final destination. Refer to the map legend to understand each stage. Complete the quizzes to earn energy and turn modifiers. Okay. Correct answer reveals the enemy's intent. Ooh, okay. Engage enemies by playing cards during your turn. It's your hands hands off my the underscore Don fan just raided with nine viewers. SK Yorkso, welcome in everybody. SK, thank you so so much for trusting me with your community this evening. I hope you had a fantastic stream. In a second, I'm sure Chibi Tan will actually shout you out like they're supposed to. Come on, Chibi Tan, you can do it, or not. Not works too, you dick. Um, <clears throat> I'll do it myself. <laughs> ah, you're playing some Resi. Wicked. I hope you're having a good time. Uh, for anyone that's not been here before, hi, I'm Hobby Tan. I am a variety streamer based in Scotland. My pronouns are they, them. And today... Uh, because I was running out of time to cover this and I promised I would. Uh, instead of doing mini painting, we are learning some Japanese with yokai. Very nice, SK. Love it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now Chibi Tan shouts you out after I've done all the legwork. Oh, shit. I was supposed to at the start of the stream and I forgot. Um, just to let everybody know, we reached... $500 raised on our St. Jude fundraiser um, today. Uh, special thank yous to the anonymous donor from the 20th, so from Sunday, who donated $20, and to the anonymous donor that this morning donated an additional $5 to uh, push us up to that $500 mark, which means for those that have been following the progress of the fundraiser. I will at some point in the next few months be booking a day off work for the Every Speed Run I Know Marathon, which will probably be like a 12 hour stream, I'd wager. Hello there. Kinda love the way Japanese greetings vary by time of day. Good evening, good day, and teching early in it. <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, so I went with um, when when we got our raid there. I went with Yokozo, which is welcome, rather than uh, going for a specific uh, time frame such as Kompanwa. Evening, good evening. Uh, okay, so we battle. Battle 2. Increase your chances of winning by using items. Okay. Omamoris. Gather omamoris to gain boosts during your journey. You can find them inside your backpack. Okay. More learning. Remember to learn new Japanese concepts whenever you're prepared. You can do this through the book icon located in the top bar. Okay. Okay, we've read all of the tutorial cards. Hello from the big screen in Mum's house. Hi, Mum. And possibly also Auntie. 
Hmm, I noticed you don't have any Japanese quizzes available. Before proceeding, you'll need to open the book and learn five concepts. You can find more tips in the progress and learning section. Please let me know your level, what you'd like to learn before embarking on this adventure. Oh, wicked. Okay, this is a good start. They're not just assuming that you're an idiot, but they're also not assuming that you know loads of stuff. So I do know some basic vocab, uh, but it's been a long, long time since I had to actively read any hiragana or katakana, and there's only a couple of the um, actual symbols that I can remember straight off the top of my head, like to, I can remember to, uh, and no. Basically any of the stuff that goes in the middle of um, actual words, I can remember that. Um, so we're gonna, we're actually gonna start by learning the alphabets and that's a, a better experience for you folks as well because i know we've got some folks that have got a little bit of japanese experience in chat um but i literally just realized konnichiwa has ichi in it i'm observant ah. um it does, yeah. Um, trying to think of other things that have Ichi in as well, though, because there's like my Nichi. Um... Oh, Slo and I were watching um, a binging with Babish video about different kinds of packet ramen the other day, and it deeply amused me that um... he rated all of the um, Ichiban branded ramen right at the bottom of his list like they all tasted like shit and i was just like that's really funny and slow went why and i said because ichiban means best <laughs> that's that's blatant false advertising <laughs> ichi the killer yes okay ichi blair yeah basically ichi blair ramen okay so, oh, that's neat. This is a nice way to teach people the the script. If you look in the middle of the character, it looks like there's a a a, a tilted a. Yeah, I, I can see that. So, if you're somebody that learns and remembers things better with visuals, this is going to be really handy, I think. Unfortunately, I can't turn off the translation underneath them because I would have liked to have gone through these and had a go at remember, uh, seeing if I could remember them before it just presented them to me. But I did say that we're absolute beginners, so it's no big surprise that it's doing that, I guess. Um, okay. A, E. Let's go for our basics. Let's go for our vowels. We'll go A, E, U, E, O. And all we've got here is the kana quiz. Can I? Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh no, okay. We'll just skip straight to start. Oh, okay, shit, okay. Fine. Select an Omori to begin. Look Omori. Omamori, even. Add one more card as selectable when defeating a yokai. Malashi. I'm adding a card to the deck, raise one max HP. Sakura Petal. Gain 1 HP when an enemy dies. We'll go with that one. Okay. We have 60 HP. Let's have a look at our book. Kana. Okay. Because what I wanted to do was actually have a look through how it guides you for all of them. This could be an eye on your notes. If you take notes while the teacher speaks, it might be you put the eye dot on the side and not the top okay yeah i can see that <laughs> oh that's so cute hey valcyon welcome in i hope you're doing well today chance of senna hard edition a little bit this looks like a tilted you with a hat 
<laughs> I mean, when you put it that way... Eh. Number three with a hat, and if you turn the number three around, you get the letter E. Okay, that, that one's a little bit of a stretch, but I'll accept it. Um, also, number three with a hat sounds like it would be uh, an emo track. Like a mid noughties emo track. There are two O's in this character, but if you prefer, it also looks like a crying kid opening his mouth shouting, Ooh! Uh, I, I don't see the crying child. Does anybody see the crying child? Elson, thank you very much for the hydrate. Number three with a hat at the drive-in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hibernated concepts won't appear in reviews. Used, for example, when you fluently know this concept and don't want to review it anymore. Okay. So once we feel comfortable that we've learned one of the hiragana, we can hibernate it and um, then we won't have to do any more learning with it, I guess. Looks like we've got a little bit of artifacting going on at the top of the outline on the yokai. So we're in the Chugoku region. Uh, what do we think, folks? Top path, bottom path, one of the two middle paths. One, two, three, four. What do we fancy? I'm going to have another sippy. Because I'm really thirsty. It's pissing it down here, but it's kind of muggy. So, as much as I've got my shirt on, I'm kind of warm and thirsty. Okay, we've got three for two. So. Godzilla is way too warm. The sun is illegal. Well, if anybody can fix that, it's Godzilla. Hello, Hans. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well today. Three gives us both choices moving forwards. Ooh, that's a very fair point. If we go for the third one, that gives us this one and this one. Assuming we survive, that is. Hero Quest is the best game ever made, and anyone who says otherwise is wrong. Hello, Cypher. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. We do still have three votes for two, so I am going to go with two unless anybody changes their vote. Ugh, why am I now snuffly? I can't win. I'm either tired or I'm snuffly or I'm both. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to go for two because uh, there's three votes for two and one vote for the uh, for others. It's a casa obake. <clears throat> Too late. <laughs> Was fantastic nasty cold. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope they feel better soon. Oh, look at the little parasol friend. Yeah, so we're getting some artifacting around like the, yeah, there's some here too. I wonder if that's intentional. I don't think it is somehow. Um, so some maybe something we can raise with the devs. Oh, look at the cards. So the cards are pretty. Okay, so we do a quiz. That is ah. Uh, that is oh. Uh, that is. Uh. Yay! We're strong. Work is going to be interesting. Oh, bless you, Cipher. Deal four damage to an enemy. Gain four armor, gain four armor, gain four armor, deal four damage to an enemy. Wow, we have uh, we have a lot of choice here. We've drawn really well from our deck. Uh, we'll give it a smack. 
and we'll gain some armor. And we have one more ability left. Now, I don't know if it's going to dump all these cards. This is edutainment slay the spire. Yeah, basically. Okay, yeah, it, it bins our cards off at the end of the turn. That is... Oh. That is... Ah. That is... Oh, again. <laughs> okay. It really wants us to say our as and us today. Um, we're going to get some armor. Because armor is important. What's this mean? Buff or debuff? This enemy intends to use a buff or debuff. Hello there. Hello, Kian. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well today. Why am I a Super Nintendo? <laughs> oh, Castle Obake got angry. Him angry. Okay, so we do our quiz again. That is eh. That is eh. That is. Uh. <laughs> He's seeing a pattern here. Angry Brawly. It's it's the it's the rage Brawly. It's the Brawly of rage. The Brawly of wrath. I know it is. It's hi Super Nintendo Charmers. I'm learning. Uh, uh, I know that reference. Uh, I I am well aware of the reference. I was wondering why I'm a Super Nintendo. <laughs> Yeah, old Simpsons references I will get, Kian. Uh, newer Simpsons references, probably not, because I've not watched any of the newer Simpsons. Like, um, Christ, I don't even know what season they're up to now. It's the first thing I could think of, fair enough. <laughs> I will accept this. We're just gonna punch the angry Broly, because what could possibly go wrong? Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's just for damage to all enemies so oh him gonna die next turn 30 34 30 fucking four seasons jesus that that is immense uh so that's eh that is uh. that is e They're up to season. Fuck me, is this still going? Yeah, exactly. I mean, they've been they've been up to and past that for a while now, in my opinion, Model. <laughs> Maybe it's time to let it end. And then you've got shit like Gravity Falls that lasts for two seasons and no more because the creators don't want it to last any longer than that. I've heard a lot of really good things about the newer seasons. Like, I stopped watching it when it got kind of naff in the middle, <laughs> as it were. It wasn't the middle back then, obviously, but... There's no point in me gaining armor when I'm just going to punch this thing to death. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Castle Obake, that was mean of me. We got a poison vial. Pick a card. And some yen. Oh, and look at that. It actually uses the yen symbol. Do we get... To, do we have to pick one of these? Okay. Deal five damage, damage to an enemy. Ooh. Deal five damage and gain five armor. Whoa. <laughs> Deal damage equals your armor. Okay, no, we'll, we'll take the middle one because that gives us armor. You can't be mean to the horrible demon umbrella hobby. Look, it started it. I'm just finishing it. And the Tanuki told me to. How can I say no to my brethren? Nice to see the actual Yen symbol instead of the international stripey Y. Yeah, it is. It's very nice to see. Actual, actual symbol. <laughs> okay, so we get all of these things, but we have to click on them individually. I wonder what happens if we get a pick a card one and click skip. 
distract them with food. Me? The demon umbrella? Actual symbol Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, exactly. There's something on the ground. Ooh, do we want to investigate? The tanuki. Oh, so yes, me. <laughs> Um, do we want to do it? Yes, investigate. <laughs> Food? Where? Yeah. The dog looked up then like, there's food? Treat? <laughs> oh, he really is my dog. I finished off a chicken curry. Oh, I'm so jealous. I want a chicken curry. Curiosity killed the cat. The tanuki was fine. Treat? <laughs> Thank you, hands. <laughs> oh, and Tabby as well. Thank you very much. Mum, thank you very much. I'll do the treat for me first. It is a daisy. Thank you. And now, it's time for Porthos's treat. Hold up. Hey, buddy. Just checking I've got the right amount. Yes, yes, I do. Need a piece? Good boy. He lost the treat in his blanket. <laughs> it's a piece again? Good boy. Good boy. One last time. Good boy. Porthos is the only reason we're all here, really. Oh, I know. Don't worry. I know. You're not here for me. You've never been here for me. It was always the dog. Pope sauce, praise be indeed. He does have a little bit of a heart on his forehead, doesn't he? That's just sort of come with age. Kian, thank you very much for the chalky egg. You get a hobby tan crunch instead of a Porthos crunch there. spot clearly oh that's so wholesome hands yes that that is the pat here <laughs> hey buddy oh you want in the chair now that you've had snacks don't you come on then oh please don't wreck my desk again sit <laughs> please the, there's nothing for you sweetheart <laughs> yeah this is the head pat spot look he loves that you can scratch yeah Okay, you can get back on with the game now. Okay. No! No, <laughs> no, you can't sit in my lap, sweetheart. There's not space. There's not, sp there's not space! Look, this is as close as you can get. You can have my knee. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Let's investigate. There seems to be an item on the ground. Might be useful. Porthos, don't lick my boom. <laughs> Random item. Uh, two. Um, I want to say that's key. Chi shi, tsuki chi shi. I don't know if that's correct. Let's have a look at our book. Can I? Oh, it wasn't. It was Sue, not Sue. Uh, and it wasn't Chi either. See, this is where I start to get mixed up. Oh, we're into the katakana now. Uh... Hmm. 
Oh yeah, Chibi Town hates Dream Elements. Oh, was it Sugi? No, Suge? Suge. Suge. And it was, where is it? the key problem with learning languages especially those with a different alphabet is you need a functioning memory for them yeah i'm positive the penultimate character was she uh Yeah, it was. And the last character was E. I think it was Suge... Uh, Suge Chishi? Ch Chishi? Yeah, Chishi. Suge Chishi. I don't know, because uh, I didn't... That's new. We didn't have fire in a flask before, so I guess that's what we picked up. I was surprised that it just suddenly switched to Kana. I've got to admit. <gasps> Akaname! Oh, look how cute it is! Memory is weird. So not Como Dio there. It was not Dio. Friend! Unfortunately, we have to fight the friend. Uh, that is A. That is U. Uh. That is... Ooh. Okay, we've got so much armor that they're not going to be able to cause us any damage, which is nice. Not friend! Kill it! We're, we're going to have to, yeah. Shogun style. PCs are foreigners stranded in Japan. Learn Japanese before the first game night and full on Anjin san. It, speak only Japanese when portraying an NPC, etc. Let them adapt by immersion learning. Oh, I fucking love that, Monheo. I mean, it's brutal, but I fucking love it. Licky friend. Yeah, licky friend. No worries, hands. You, you get that hydration. And if anybody else needs to go and get some hydration sorted, please do. Meet Mecha Maintenance, very important. We know this. That is oh. That is E. That is A. We'll get some more armor. And we only have damage dealing stuff now, so we'll just smack them a couple of times. That is E. That is E. That is O. Oh. So we didn't have to move for any of that. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that's happening, Tabby. So no defensive stuff in that draw. So we're just going to have to take the hit this time. That's okay. Ooh. That, that was a big hit. And we've got all defensive stuff this time. So. That is a. Uh, that is a. Uh, and that is e. Computer, stop trying to be helpful. Challenge 2024. Yeah. Just eat all the armor. Om nom 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 tasty armor. What a strange looking frog. It's not a frog. Oh, look at that artifact in there. That's rough. <laughs> yeah, they, they've got some cleanup to do on this still. Again, it's in early access. 
Uh, that is E. That is O. That is U. Smack. Okay, next turn, as long as we get at least one attack card, we should win. Take that, Akaname. Yay, we got all of the attack cards. Okay, that is E. That is U. That is O. Da! Okay, so we got some yen. Oh, I was gonna skip and see what happens. Okay. I don't know if it gave us a card. It did not give us a card because we pressed skip. Um, we did not get to pick a card. So that is worth knowing we should at least click the card and then skip everything else. Though we've only got one potion vial as well. So if we press skip, I guess we don't get anything. I can't amaze why you clean your bathrooms, at least in Japan. Yes. Toshibage! <laughs> <gasps> yes! Hey, little friend. I love these guys. Obake is so cute. Ah. Oh. Okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna answer this one. I know what it is. Can everybody remember? Because I've just been rattling through them. I've been getting overexcited and just rattling through them. But we should learn together. Can everyone remember what this symbol is? Is it a, e, u, or e? Chochi no bake. Their presence really lights up a room. Hey! <laughs> Bravo. Well done. <laughs> Mod hell is correct. It is indeed. Eh. We're resilient. Would you believe it? Okay, so we've got six armor and Chachin is going to give itself four armor and do four damage next turn. So let's just smack it. If we do get this game, I'm going to be printing and painting so many yokai minis. And there is nothing wrong with that. We love a yokai mini. I swear to fuck Twitch. Hello, Rocket. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. And Discord. No fucking notifications. Well, uh, where Discord's concerned, if you don't have the notifications role, you won't get the notifications. Um, because that's been set up specifically to stop it from harassing people that don't want to be notified. Um, okay, everybody. Can we remember what this symbol is? Is it a, e, u, or o? I have them decidedly on. Do you have the notifications roll though, Rocket, is what I'm saying. Close, but no cigar, I'm afraid, Tabby. My Discord has a specific role called notifications, which you can... Um, Bartender, give me a drink. Just subscribed for three months. Hello, you can months have assigned to you, and that will notify you when more. people go live. Hello, Poirot. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well today. Three months of helping this wholesome stream it continues a lot more it will continue and thank you so so much for three months of support of uh, a channel which uh, i know um no no worries rocket you enjoy your dinner uh, of a channel which i know you uh you said before it's it's not your primary language so uh, i really am genuinely honored that you've subscribed to the channel for three whole months it's really sweet I'm amazed and amused by how many Obake are doing a big mlem whenever they're depicted. Well, I think every 
yokai that we've seen so far has been doing a big mlem, haven't they? <laughs> and yeah, mod hail is right, it is ah. So ah and ooh look kind of similar. Um, not ooh, um, ah and oh, sorry, look kind of similar, but oh has the little flick. Um, can we? We can't click on a book while we're in a test. <laughs> That's fair. It's just given us ah three times in a row. That that's that's kind of cheaty pants game. Um, let's, so there's there's ah. But if you look at oh, it's got a very similar shape, but it's got this little flicky on it. The game goes ah. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. So they're gonna do three damage, and um add three armor to themselves next turn. So let's just punch them nice and hard. That's one way of being a AAA game. Hold on. Okay. So what's this one? What do we think, folks? Is it A, E, U or eh? Hi, RNG. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well today. Oh, I'll have to take a look at that later, Tabby. Okay, so this one um, has a little hint about what it... Eh, it's always eh. Magic, magic, eh. It is not eh. <laughs> uh, this one has a little hint about what it actually is in um, its formation. So our little guidebook said that it looks like a U on its side with a hat on. It is... Ooh. Oh, thank you very much, Tabby, your star. Is it doing it again? Is this because we took too long? Ooh. So we've got two us. Ooh. What do we think this one might be? We know it's not ooh, because we've just done ooh twice in a row. Is it a, e, or e? <laughs> that is the second time there has been an Ebenezer good reference in my day today. Admittedly, the first time it came up, it was me saying it. I mean, e you are close, Tabby. It's got a similar sound to e. It is e. Eh. Fucking tune is a good, really good tune. Okay, what's it going to do next turn? We're going to gain some armor. And then we're going to punch the Obake. Okay, next turn, Obake should die. Cowboy ooh, sleeping under their hat. Answers are doing the ooh, Cowboy calling a pig. <laughs> Wee! Oh, I get it, yeah. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I can't believe how long they got away with it before someone went, hang on, that's a drug reference. Yep. <laughs> it's amazing what people got away with. Okay, so considering the conversation we just had, what do we think this is? Let's have a little nap under its hat. Ooh, it is. Ooh, well done, RNG. <laughs> and this one. So we've not seen this one in a little while, and that might give you a hint. even on top of the pops singing about ecstasy. Yep. So 
So this one is... Oh! That's a pound sign! That's not a pound sign! What kind of wonky-ass pound signs have you been looking at? <laughs> this is oh. And this is the one that looks a bit like oh, but doesn't have the flicky. This one is ah. Oh, we're angry. We're going to do five damage to this Obake. It only has two health left. It's got two armor as well, so that's fine. But... <laughs> the top broke off and fell down. That's how good the UK economy is right now. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's accurate. <laughs> that's very accurate. Okay. So, ooh, what have we got? We've got cut and we've got break all enemy armor. Now, I love an armor breaker. I do, but I also like to do damage and get armor. So we're going to have another one of these. Um, we're also going to take this fire in a flask. Yeah, because I wanted to confirm whether skipping literally just skipped everything. Haiku book three. Use it to unlock three more quizzes during a fight. Oh, neat. Okay. And we got some yen. I think it's a shame that if you click skip, it doesn't just automatically give you the stuff that you've got. Oh, thank you, Chibi Tam. This is so incredibly similar in UI design to Slay the Spire. Yeah, it feels like it's probably very heavily inspired by Slay the Spire. In inspired. Ay. That was an unintentional pun. Um, and I am okay with that. I, I really like Slay the Spire. Uh... Yes, agreed. Agreed, Tabby. Slay the Inspire. Brilliant. Bravo, RNG. <laughs> Perfect. 10 out of 10. Um, actually, seen as we're going to end up going into another fight um, and we've got a break due soon, I'm going to kick the break off early and we're all going to go do some meat mecha maintenance and then when we come back, maybe we'll swap out some of our characters and uh, try and learn some new ones. Okay? Right. Now is a great time to grab a drink, grab a snack, have a stretch, get a little bit of fresh air, as long as it's not shitting it down outside, um, and do all that wonderful meat mecha maintenance stuff. Give your pets some love, all that kind of stuff, and I will be back with you in three minutes. BRB, folks. Cross try. Yay! If you know, if you get hit while you're swimming, it will break the game. Because the, when you get hit, it will it will cancel your fake flipper, but also the game doesn't know where it wants to put you because you weren't on safe ground on this screen. Um, I would. <laughs> Yay, we're, we're safe. Kind of. <laughs> okay, I was gonna um, say I might just get hit so I can see what happens, but now we know. Um... <laughs> <laughs> now we know. That's great. <laughs> I can never be your woman because I'm not a woman. Some people may see me as one. Heck, you may even see me as one. But I'm not. And I never will be. Rude. Sure. What the? So why? No! No! Oh my god, this is weird! All my timings are off! <laughs> you fiend! You scoundrel! Oh, I think it's going back to normal. Is it? No. <laughs> no, it's not. 
we can get some water. Fuck! I put the bear trap down and then stepped in it. <laughs> I am a failure. Oh, that was embarrassing. <laughs> Happy Squig. Very happy Squig. This is so cool. Oh yeah! What are you doing? You're being lewd again, Lom. I'm trying like, to more actually like... clean a single bit before we move on to somebody else. Ooh, welcome back from the break, 20, everybody. Okay, <laughs> oh my god, that power wash sim stream was so much fun. Um, seen as Porthos is having a lie down, he's having an NAP, which we all know spells party. Um, I will put us back onto face cam. <laughs> yeah, uh, Mod Hale. This I'm really enjoying so far. I like the mechanics. I like the way it's put together. Uh, I will like it even more when they've cleaned some things up and um, like there's a UI that's a bit off center that's kind of weird to me. Um, little things like that once those sort of tweaks are in place. Uh, I think this will be a really good, really solid game. Um, so to speak was also a really, really fun game, really well put together, really nice and easy introductory Japanese language lessons in that. Uh, but yeah, I kind of bounced off of Influent. Um, I tried, I tried so hard, um, but only the stuff that I'd learned in class is the stuff that I managed to actually achieve anything with in Influent. I didn't feel like I was really learning anything new. <laughs> really toggles your furigana, does it? Yeah, it, it toggles it toggles the furigana. And thank you very much for the, the welcome backs from folks. Um welcome back to you as well. <gasps> Ogama! Look at that Ogama! Oh what a friend! What a friend! Oh I love them! We're screenshotting them. I like how we've gone from weird medieval guys to weird Japanese guys. <laughs> I was struggling with the game more than I was with the language in Influent. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, I was going to pick some new things. Okay. Oh my god, Winamp. It really whips the llamas furigana. Hecking good frog friend. We love a frog friend. That is oh. That is ooh. That is ah. They're gonna cast a buff or a debuff. I do like that you can hover over the icon if you're not sure what it means for it to tell you. And you can do that as many times as you like. Um like it doesn't lock it behind the first interaction with that specific ability if you see what i mean i'm down with that and you can do the same up here look so here if we answer all if we answer one right we get divination if we answer two right we get nothing if we answer three right we get a buff so we'll get some armor hey grox welcome in Hope you're doing well today. I could really do with a heal. I'm gonna use that on my next turn. <gasps> We've been poisoned! I am not okay with this turn of events. Mm, set fire to the bitch. Okay, I don't know if that did anything. I suppose we'll find out. Ah. Uh, oh. E. Yeah, it did. Okay, we get more now. Oh. 
Ah. Eh. Take four damage at the end of each turn. Shit. We could really do with some heal. Um. Backpack. I think that's just active naturally, so we're going to get one HP back at the end of this fight, but we are going to get beaten the fuck up. Nani? Yeah. Um, I believe we may be getting into Omoyawa more Shinderu uh, territory right now, which is uh, upsetting. Uh, they're going to do a debuffy thing again, which is probably going to be poisoning us more. Um... But we've got enough um, energy to just use all of our cards and I'm going to set the fucker on fire again. Because I don't want this game, this match to last any longer than it has to. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Now you're poisoned too. How do you like it? The difficulty step was sudden. Uh, yeah, it really was. I'm wondering if that's because of the route we've taken. Uh, see, when it doesn't... <laughs> ah! When it doesn't change the letter, um, it confuses me. Because I'm like, is it frozen? No, it's not frozen. We just got the same letter again. And ah seems uh, perfect for what's happening right now, considering how much poison damage we've taken. <laughs> Suddenly pain, yep. But it's okay, because it's over now. Oh man, we are injured. Remove all armor from an enemy. Nice, pick a card. Remove bleeding, reveal top card from the draw pile. Double your armor. I feel like it offering us this is a warning that we are going to be cut. Like, this is a threat. This is an active threat. <laughs> also, I love the fact that the Kodama is um, putting a little plaster over a wound. That is so cute. Also, seeing as we have a Kodama on screen, I am going to... I'm going to have a little bit of a rant slash ramble for a second here. So, um, I think most of you already know, but just in case you don't, on Sunday from 4pm uh, uh, BST, I will be on this channel running a one shot of Golden Sky Stories for some fellow members of the Clock Tower. Uh, Golden Sky Stories is a Japanese RP that is completely diceless. It is an RP heavy mechanics light. <laughs> it has other ways of having mechanics. Um, RP system that has come from Japan. I backed the translation on Kickstarter when um, the crew behind the translation were trying to get it translated into English. Uh, and I have not had the opportunity to play it at all since I got it. Um, so I offered to do a one-shot. Golden Sky Stories is incredibly good. I'm very, very excited. I'm nervous. Nervous as all heck, but I am very, very excited. This motherfucker is eating beans. Fucking love beans. Hope you're enjoying your beans, Rocket. I might have beans tonight. I might have a jacket potato with cheese and beans. Mm. Anyway, so I'm nervous because I've never run this system before. Um, but I'm also very, very excited. But in Golden Sky Stories, you play um, shapeshifters. You play Kitsune. You play Yokai. Um, you can even play Oni. And one of my characters, one of my player's characters, I should say, um, is playing a Kodama. And I wanted to have a nice bit of art to represent each of the different characters in the story. And oh my god, I could not find a single part, uh, like a single picture 
of uh, a Kodama that wasn't a Studio Ghibli inspired Kodama because Princess Mononoke is so pervasive in the art space and in culture in general at this point that when somebody says Kodama this is what people think of they think of a tiny little white tree sprite and traditionally they didn't necessarily look like that um and i get why people default to this especially in the west because princess mononoke is very well known in the west uh, and with good reason It's very easy, I must say, and success and failure is not the problem of those stories. No, exactly, Poirot. That's one of the reasons I'm quite excited about it, because literally the win condition for Golden Sky stories is that everybody has a nice time. That's the win condition. What about the little green homies from Neil? See, that's one of the few exceptions to the the um, Princess Mononoke rule. And it's just, it's so hard to find any art of Kodama that isn't this kind of art of Kodama. But yeah, it's just one of those things. Um, I don't mind it. I genuinely don't mind it. It only became a problem for me because I was looking for this very specific thing. Like the image people have of elves, but in the folklore, elves are horror shows. Yeah, exactly, Valcyon. It's the same for a lot of fey folk. Um, but yeah, it's just a thing. And it's it's really struck me whilst I've been setting things up for Golden Sky Stories. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you can all come along to Gold Sky Stories on Sunday. Um, it will be taking the place of the uh, speedrun segment of my usual Sunday streaming. Uh, yeah, I I'm very, very nervous about it. <sighs> oh, thank you very much, Poirot. No, it's fine. I've got like, I've got all of my characters and stuff set up and my players are as prepped as they're gonna get, I think. Um, it's just the general sort of... It's been four years since I DM'd in anything. <laughs> I'm a little rusty. And uh, I'm gonna be a little rusty in a system that I've never DM'd before with players that have never played it before. So at least we're all on the same page in that regard. It, it's just the average sort of I'm in my own head about it kind of situation. I'm hoping I still do a good job and that everybody has a fun time because that's what really matters. As long as we all have fun, that's what matters. When do we get to use our money? Like, have I missed something about um, spending money? Oh, no, there's a shop here. Okay, so we're going to attempt if we can. Oh, we can't. No, it's going to be ages until we can go to a shop. Shit. Just means you've got to play fast, right? To de-rust, hold on. Oh, damn. Bravo. <gasps> Imori, look at them. Tricolor buddies. Hi. You're so cute. Why do I have to kill you? The distribution of things on roots seems a bit off. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. And I don't know if that's like a, a, a weird bit of procedural generation fuckery or if it's just set like that. So maybe that's something to raise with them as well. I'm, I'm, I'm actually just going to write a little list of things to flag to them. Uh What's the other thing? Oh, yeah, I remember. Go. 
Teenage Mutant Bouquet Imori. <laughs> Hit Rose with big tails? I'm not sure that quite fits. Porthos is pressing his nose into my leg while he sleeps. Hopefully just progen issues that can be tweaked. Yeah, exactly. But if nobody tells them about it, they're not going to know, so... I still haven't changed the, uh... Can we do it in here? Let's find out. Let's hibernate, ah? Uh, we can, okay. So we've done... Oh, we, we've done our vowels. I think we've done all right with our vowels. We know our a, i, u, e, o. You're so cute. Why do I have to kill you, hobby tan, perfectly sane person? <laughs> I feel that way about a lot of things. Like, I was having a conversation with the Star Wars D&D group uh, on Monday about how... I absolutely love Devil Joe. I think he's a cutie. He's a good boy. He protects me from Basil Goose. Basil Goose is scary. Um, I suppose I can see that. So we'll go through the learning for these as well. Yeah, that's fair, Tabby. <laughs> yeah, I really want a Monster Hunter game um, that is just taking pictures of the monsters, observing them in their natural habitat. I don't want to have to hunt them. Because I love the monsters so much. I think they're cute. My favorites are Camellios and Puke Puke. And then Pickle. Because who doesn't love pickles? Um, but yeah. I, I, I like the weird lizardy looking ones. <laughs> uh, ka. Someone is kicking really fast because they are practicing karate. Ka. Pickles. I can kind of see that. Pickles. Indeed. I love that sound bite. <laughs> Uh, key. This looks like a key. That's why the symbol is pronounced as key. I can kind of see that. Yeah. Looks a little bit like a key. Cool. A bird is opening its beak and singing cuckoo. <laughs> I had never thought about that before. But yeah, cuckoo does look kind of like a bird. Well, like a beak. Care. A keg where you hide all your beers. Why would you hide your beer in a keg? Everyone's gonna look there. I can kind of see what they're going for here. It feels like a bit of a stretch. A monster herder game where you run monster nursery and rescue program to repopulate the world because the monster hunters risk ru running out of work. Yeah, exactly. It's shy beer. Oh yeah, of course. I'm so sorry, beer. I should have thought about that. But no, seriously, I just want a Monster Hunter game where I can pretend I'm Steve Irwin. That's all I want out of life. Capcom, hear me. Give me Monster Hunter Snap. That's all I want. You you make Monster Hunter Snap, I will fucking buy it. I will buy it. I will be the hypest of the hype men for it. I will tell everybody about it. I will stream it every fucking week. <laughs> Give me Monster Hunter Snap. That's all I want out of life. And co, a coin. I get. I, I guess. I guess. Okay. So we've moved on from a i u e o to ka ki ku ke ko. We are going through the alphabet. We are literally doing ABCs right now, but that's okay. We all have to start somewhere. Uh, this was... Is this Ke? I've forgotten already. Th this is where it's important that we learn this stuff. I'm pretty sure it's Ke. It was not Ke. It was... Ku. Oh. Ku. Uh, 
Um, Kath? No. See, I don't know these. I can never remember my Ks. It's not car. I know car. That's K. Okay. Thank you, Mod Hell. See, Mod Hell knows them. That's car. I know that one. Okay, so we got one idea of what they're going to be doing, and we have one ability. Let's use our haiku book because <laughs> we need it. Oh boy, do we need it. Uh, that's key. Yeah. That's car. That's car. Okay, that was much better. That was much better. And now we've got some rage boiling behind us. Okay. So we get some armor. We've got one that's going to do um, seven damage to us. We've got one that's going to do four damage and use a buff, which is just completely unacceptable. We're going to hit all three of them. Porthos, don't lick my leg, buddy. That's gross. And we get five armor out of this, so this is a better option. Stop licking my leg. It's weird. I can feel it through my trousers. Hmm. I don't trust this guy in the middle. We're gonna we're gonna smack him. We are gonna take two points of damage next turn. Oh no, we're frail now. Okay. That's care. That was... Ku. This is car. Okay, okay, we've got this. We've got this. We're not bleeding. So let's do a strike guard again. We'll remove... Nah, let's not remove their armor yet. Let's save that for later. Porthos is licking the air right next to my leg, just close enough that he's not actually making contact. But I can see him doing it, and I know he's thinking about moving his head closer to my leg. It's really quite weird. Like, I can just... He did it! He licked my leg! Stop it! Stop licking my leg! <laughs> Not touching you. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what he's doing, the cheeky little bugger. And then he's like, ah, no, I am. Mlem. Like, how am I supposed to get anything done when he's doing that? <laughs> yes, you've been rumbled. Oh, he's leaving now. He's leaving now. I have offended him. Soup, thank you for the treat for the bar staff. And the treat for Porthos. The treat for me is a little eggy. He just moved slow. No pets from you. Bye, slow. What you say? Good boy. There we go. Okay, how are we looking? We're, we're looking rough. We are looking rough. Oh, some pets for Chibi Town as well. Lovely. Uh, cool. Car. Car, again. Oh, we are gonna take so much damage. I'm not cool with it. So I'm dealing with this guy in the middle first because he keeps debuffing us. They look so happy when you pet them. I know it's really cute, isn't it? This is why I want this one dead.
I nearly went for the same button then. Oh, look at our health. No. Oh, oh no, we could have killed it this turn if we'd had one more thing. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. Mum, thank you for the posture check. I have uh, Kukaka. The game knows what's up. It really <laughs> fucking does, doesn't it? I think we may be about to die. Uh, we're frail again. Again with the frailty. Mum, thank you for the treat for Porthos. Let me finish taking my turn and then I'll deal with that. Uh, okay. Okay, so after some initial shakiness, um, we're, we're getting there. Please. Good boy, that was so gentle. Good boy. See, you can be nice when you want to. Oh, don't mind if I do. There we go. And then we'll strike guard this guy. So they have color coded them. Not sure how helpful that is for colorblind people. Um, but this guy always attacks, this guy always defends, and the guy in the middle always attacks and debuffs. So now that he's dead, we're going to focus our efforts on this one that's actually causing us damage. Um like that because <clears throat> oh mammy are we gonna die otherwise car car okay car, car, okay we're gonna use our wooden hammer smack this guy we're gonna strike guard him we're gonna punch him I'm going to punch him again. Okay, he should be dead next turn as long as we get enough cards. With the symbols above, it should be regardless of... It should be fine regardless of colour. But they, they only appear if you actually get questions right. Um, I mean, you only have to get one question right to, um, to get that. So it's not so bad. Oh, we get money if we answer. So get that one right. And now we've unlocked that ability. Car. And now we've unlocked some money. And that's key. And now we've unlocked a buff. So now we are strong. And now we can see everything. What was that? Yeah, get a random amount of yen. Which is great, because we can't go to a shop. Couldn't break its armor, so it's uh, going to survive another turn, unfortunately. And we're going to take another two points of damage. Oh, we're not because we dodged. We are actually surprisingly flexible. Go us. Okay, that should deal with their armor. And then that should deal with them. I'm guessing they're going to start armoring themselves now. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks, Chibi Tan. You tried. Swing and a miss. <laughs> yeah. Chibi Tan tries but doesn't always understand. Okay, we are not particularly uh, lucky in the attack regard. Oh no, they're actually going to attack us now. But because they're a defender, we love Chibi Tan anyway. We do. They try their bestest and you can't say fairer than that. Oh, 
that's going to be exactly enough uh, to take off all our armor, so that's fine. Eating gyoza and ramen in front of yokai and, J and Japanese seems fitting. Perfect. I fucking love gyoza. What kind of gyoza have you got? Is it chicken? Is it pork? Is it duck? Slow really likes duck gyoza. My favorite Japanese snack is um, takoyaki. I love takoyaki which um, the captions doesn't understand at all, but gyoza is a very close second favorite. Chicken, yummy. I like all gyoza, to be honest with you. I'm just, I'm a slut for dumplings. <laughs> of any variety. This doesn't have to be Japanese dumplings. It can be any variety of dumpling. I am just a slut for dumplings. Um, I'm an even bigger slot for taco. I love takoyaki so much. <laughs> takoyaki fusion food to put yakitori in taco shells? No, no, <laughs> no. Oh, we dodged. Okay, this should be it, folks. We're going to end the match on 29 hit points, I think. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we got one hit point for defeating that enemy. Oh, we're at less than half health. <laughs> oh, so if we pick this up, it upgrades our current strike guard to deal eight damage, gain eight armor. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, very nice, Poirot. I, I kind of want to get a takoyaki pan, but I know I'll never get the opportunity to use it, so it's probably a waste of money. But there's a, a little Japanese restaurant around the corner from us now that actually sells takoyaki, and I really want to go there sometime, but they're kind of expensive. Oh, no, that's what it upgrades to. It's not what it upgrades ours to. I see. Samurai stance, gain six armor. You know what? I'm I'm feeling another strike guard. An energy potion and some money. What does the energy potion do? Gain one energy. Okay. The shop is so far away. <laughs> Oh, <gasps> Bakemono! Look at the melon man! Oh, he's gonna kill us, isn't he? Persist, maintain armor between turns. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh dear, poor Thossie, you alright? He's coughing and spluttering in the background. There are insufficient sources of proper Japanese food locally. Most is just sushi or some fusion food like poke bowls. Mm. See, we were like that for a while and there is literally only this one place and there's no guarantees it's going to stick around. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. Normally we'd have to go into Edinburgh if we wanted something actually Japanese. Poke is Hawaiian, right? It is indeed. I have had poke um, in Hawaii. <laughs> that was very cool. The, the melding of cultures in Hawaii is so fascinating. 
because you know, there's there's so much Japanese inspiration there, uh, clearly, and for obvious reasons, I think. But <laughs> do you know the melon man? The melon man. The melon man. Do you know the melon man who lives in Yamashiro? <laughs> Bravo! Yeah, that that was well deserving of the good joke. That was well deserving of the good joke there. Bravo. Um. I suspect we're about to learn why it was important that we picked up the Kodama's Blessing. Curse. Uh, what's this? 25% more armor. Nice. Okay. Please. Oh, we lost all that armor. Car. Because we don't have persistence. Car. Car. Kokaka again. Kokaka again. And he's strike guard again. Oh, look at all the armor he's got. No! We're never going to be able to break through all that. Okay, he's only doing five damage to his next turn, so we can just punch him and try and get rid of his armor. No, we can't get rid of his armor. Oh dear. This could be a long fight. What are we supposed to do about this? Car, care, and car. It seems like he's not got any more armor, so maybe the game is kind enough to allow us um, a bit of respite between him stacking armor. Because now we can actually do some damage, yay! So what's he got? He's got a 25% chance of dodging an attack and he's still got persist. That's rough. That's rough. Maybe he only gets to do that once. Oh no, he's defending next turn. Okay, that's fine. We're just gonna smack him then. Smack him hard. Smack him fast. Hope for the best. Oh, 15 armor. There is literally no point in us even fucking trying. Ka. Ka. I agree, game. Ka, ka, indeed. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. At least we're not bleeding, right? Right? <laughs> we are actually gonna just use the strike gods that we've got in hand, because they give us armor anyway. All the defend. A little bit, yeah. Okay. Breaking through all of that's gonna be such a pain in the ass. Key and key again. Okay, so we've got enough armor to protect us against his next hit. And we've broken through his armor. At least it's not growing. Yeah, basically. <laughs> basically. Car. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> He's dead now. We have sliced that melon. We got a cucumber. <laughs> Attracts copper. When used in battle, distracts them and allows escape. This is very exciting news. Are we gonna see a kappa? I step away for a few minutes and suddenly you're fighting a watermelon man? Yes, yeah, it's what it'd be like in feudal Japan, mate. It's just how it goes. Slice a melon, get a cucumber. That's how botany works. I don't, I don't make the rules. I know, right? Who wouldn't expect to get a cucumber out of a melon?
samurai tackle. Deal damage equal to your armor. I like that. Lose three hit points, gain one energy. No, I'm good, thanks. Uh, I'm good, thank you. I think that's a bad idea. Deal five damage to an enemy. <laughs> Soul sucking wrestling turtles. Yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for that one because we've got quite a few cards that will stack up our armor now as well. Samurai tackle sounds handy. <laughs> I am not gonna say what went through my head then. Look at the fish, friend! I mean, it also sounds like a euphemism. Yes, it does. <laughs> Look at the fish, friend! He has a good hat. He does have a good hat. And he's trying his damnedest to wear it. <laughs> Key. Care. Car. Oh, what I'd give for some health. <laughs> A little crumb of health. Okay, so they're gonna debuff us. I'm not cool with that. But there's really not much point in us doing anything else right now. Does the horse still have its samurai tackle? No, no, he's gelded. Bravo. Bravo. Oh, there's our samurai tackle. Ka. 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 Ka ka ka. We are agile. Okay, so if we do two gain four armor. Oh, oh, better idea. Use, gain four armor, gain four armor, hit. Samurai tackle, there. We have done as much damage as we can this turn. Kukaku. I'm seeing a pattern here. Okay, what we got? Get some armor going. Punch. Hello, Porthos. You've come back, have you? Oh, that that that's a lot. That's a lot. I am very conscious of my health right now. Ka. Ka. Ki. Okay, so they're gonna attack and take three damage when discarded. Oh no. Sheridan! Welcome in. Thank you so, so much for trusting me with your community today. Yorkasa, everybody. Um, and in, in, in case, uh, <laughs> behold, a fish man. <laughs> Thank you, Alcyon. Um, Does it have to be human? Oh, gosh. Everything's happening <laughs> all at once. Um, in case you've not been here before, hi, I'm Hobby Tan. I'm a variety streamer based in Scotland. My pronouns are they, them. And ouch, Porthos, you cannot sit in my lap. You're too big. I, I know. I know, sweetie. You're adorable. You are. But you don't, you, you don't fit in my lap. Hello. I'll pet you. Oh, slash. <laughs> Hello, Sheridan. I hope your stream went well. You were playing some Yakuza 0. Wonderful. I hope you had fun. I'm sure you did. Yakuza 0 is so much fun. Um, yeah. So we would normally be doing some mini painting tonight, but I had a, a free key for this game and uh, I promised I would cover it and uh, we were getting close to the deadline so I decided we'd do that tonight. I was and I did. It's a great time. It is. It's a wonderful time. 
And thank you for that resub. Thank you so, so much for being subscribed for 31 months. Fucking hell, that's a long time. God damn it, GB Tan. You are so screwy with the, um, <laughs> with the shout outs at the minute. Silly little friend. Oh! Tabby, I didn't know that you could do shout outs. Oh, I guess I, I set it to VIPs being able to do it as well. Careful, I might end up giving you a sword. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Mod Hale. Um. There was a treat for the bar staff from Poirot. I need to do that before we carry on. Oh, bless you. Thank you very much, Tabby. That's very kind of you. I don't want to put too much extra stuff on your plate, though. Uh, thank you very much for the, the chalky eggy that Porthos desperately wants and can't have because it will make him sick. No, this is my treat. <laughs> Look at his face. He's so offended that he didn't get to eat that. <laughs> There's nothing there. My hand is empty. <laughs> We're having a wonderful time. Thank you very much, Sheridan. Even better now you're here. I wonder if Chibi Town is being rate limited by some API. I think Chibi Town just has so much shit going on um, that they take a little while to do things. I've probably inappropriately queued the shout outs for raids. Should be an easy enough fix. I just need to remember to do it. The beauty of um, managing your own bot is that you can fix things and tweak things as much as you like. The downside is you have to fix things and tweak things when they go wrong. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go for a survival round this term, uh, turn even. We're gonna defend and we're gonna, um, we're gonna play that card so we don't take damage from it being discarded. That means we're going to take one point of damage next turn. <clears throat> and this turn we're going to use a haiku book. Okay, so car. Care. Oh, he's fucked off again. Ku. Ka. Ki. Okay, we've got six points to spend here. We're armoring ourselves up. We're not bleeding, so there's no point in spending that one. Okay. That's the best we could do with what we've got. It'll do. It'll do. We took a little bit of damage right at the end there, but that's okay. Ki. Ka. Ko. We're angry. Oh, wouldn't it have been nice if we'd got the um, samurai tackle here? All that armor. Porthos, get out from under me desk. There is nothing under there for you. I just kicked the dog by accident because he's under my desk. No worries at all, Sheridan. You raid and rest, friend. Feel free to put your feet up in the lurker's lounge. My poor health, look at it. Heartbreaking. Gommy checker. Get one card from the discard pile into your hand. Burn. Nope, I'm good. Ooh, four damage and three poison. Don't mind if I do. Fire in a flask and some yen. Okay, yep, we can work with that. Oh, we're so close to the shop. I can finally see what a shop looks like. <gasps> Kappa! 
<laughs> Kawaii desu ne. Please do not pull my soul out through my butt. I would very much appreciate if my soul stayed where it is, firmly in my butt. Okay, we have a cucumber. Prepare thine cucumber! Oh, oh, oh my goodness, Mardale. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of throwing the cucumber at it. Little water on the head, yeah. We won! Hooray! <laughs> Just like, cucumber? Go on, take it! Now, fuck off! <laughs> I do not wish to hurt you! Okay, we're gonna take the double armor so that we've got another avenue of um, improve. We got another cucumber. Did, did the Kappa just put the cucumber on the floor when they left? Is that what happened here? Like, they were just like, I, I don't want this. I don't want this at all. Shop! Shop! Finally! <gasps> Ooh, what we got? Okay. What's this? Health Omamori. Increase your max HP by 30%. I can't afford it! No! And if I hadn't skipped that one um, lot of yen just to see if it would work or not, um, I probably would have had enough. That That's heartbreaking. Start combat with three rage. Adding card to the deck, raise max HP. Ooh, okay. Oh, thank you for the virtual hobby redeem there, Valcyon. <laughs> rage for three turns. That's all of my power, though. Ah, Tansama, you are too kind, but I just sucked out someone's soul through their ass. I'm full, couldn't eat another bite. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what happened there, isn't it? Oh, what have we got here? Haiku book three. Three more quizzes during a fight. Oh, do we not have the haiku book anymore? Oh, I guess we picked up a second one at some point. Haiku book. Uh, rotten food, poison an enemy for three turns. Fire in a flask. Okay. Um, I'm kind of tempted by Shinobi Strike, but it's basically all of my money. Or I could get Rage and maybe Venomous Strike Plus. Do I have enough for that? No, I don't have enough for that. Hmm. All your money for a super good card is better than filling your deck with trash. This is true. This is very true. But I could also not. Like, just generally not. What I would really like is um, to have enough for that but I don't. And I have to pay to remove cards from my deck. I do like poison builds so though. Yeah, me too. I love a poison build. I am the liege of indirect damage. I love indirect damage. Like my favorite decks in magic. Um, Sorry, I got distracted by the hiragana at the top of the screen. Um, I think that says irashai. Which is another way of saying welcome. It's welcome in, basically. So irashai is a much better way of um, greeting people that come into the stream than yokso. I think. I think that is Irashai. Because that's definitely E. Um, there's Ra. Ira. 
And that's a little Sue. Rather than a big Sue. Um, so it's not Sue. Um, yeah. <laughs> when you hover over the Japanese, it tells you what it means. That's nice. Imagine getting Samurai Stance in the same turn as Samurai Tackle. Yeah, if you got Samurai Stance and... Um, like... Samurai tackle stance, yeah, that's uh, you, you can't see me doing it, but like legs splayed apart. <laughs> um, I feel like rage is the better card out of those two because that gives you 25% of dodging an attack, ultimate man spreading. That's what I was aiming for, yeah. Um, but this does 25% more damage to enemies. So if you spend all of your energy that turn, you've got three turns after that um, where you're dealing 25% more damage. Couple that with Strike Guard and um, Samurai Tackle. And yeah, I think I think you could have you could have some fun with that. Isn't that just horse stance, but with a more knowing smirk? Yes. Yes, it is, Mod Hale. That is exactly what it is. We love a horse stance. <laughs> Great minds. Fuck it, I'm going for rage. I'm going to... I would like to rage, please. Um, and we're going to go for a haiku book. What's this? Empty item slot. It's an empty item slot. Okay. Why is it off separate from the rest of the item slots? Why is this one special? Okay, we now can't afford any of the omomoris, but that's fine. <laughs> Do you want to go to the shops again, everybody? Oh. Oh no. Oh no. I would like one. One rage. So that's not too much trouble, good sir. Yeah, exactly. Oh, what I would give for some health. Elite enemy drops better loot. I'm sure it does, but that doesn't make me any less afraid of it. <laughs> um, we are due for our union mandated break again. So, lovely folks. Now is a great time to grab a snack, grab a drink, have a stretch. Kiss your pets, or pet your pets if you prefer. Get some fresh air, do some meat mecha maintenance. Don't s stay sat in your chair. Whatever you do, just don't stay sat in your chair, but do come back in three minutes and we will do some more Book of Yokai. Um, but yeah, I'm also gonna go and have a stretch. And it stopped raining, so I'm gonna open my window because it's warm in here. See you in three. Spotty, let's move, and please try to contain your excitement a bit. No, don't, Spotty. Don't let anyone drag you down. You be as excited as you want to be, mate. <laughs> Lovely dog owes me a pint. Yeah, that works. Hello there. I'll try. I promise. I'm just very happy to go on an adventure with you. Oh, Spotty, sweet pea. Oh. I wish to pet. Okay. Follow me. Look at his tail. Yeah, I know. Isn't he brilliant? He's brilliant. He's a good boy. And for everybody that's met him before, look! A bigger view of Porthos. is a, an awkward song to be listening to when I'm um, introducing the dog. It's uh, unchained and all of those at once. Hmm. Sure would be nice to have someone to help me out here every day. Have you considered a child?
Will this get rid of the dollar that's stuck in our hand? I don't think it will. <laughs> Oh no. We're just going to spend the whole game with this dollar stuck in our hand now. Hi. Uh, um, um. No. Excuse I'm me. Quite a bit please. Yes. Pl please. Yes. Uh. Hello there. Huh? Snipe. Oh, Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, you know what? I'm going to climb okay. back up this ladder and you are going to let me mount you. <laughs> I'm going for a break. Folks watching oh, yeah. my channel. I'm <laughs> Blood should only be in my hair when it's somebody else's. I shouldn't have said that on stream. Just gonna. Watching a fucking horror movie. <laughs> I love her. I love her so much. <laughs> it's like, oh no, my friend, I must save you. Welcome back from the break, everybody. I hope you're all feeling refreshed. I certainly am. Much better now the window's open. DMAC, Frankenstein, welcome in. Hope you're both doing well. Uh, okay, I think, I think, oh no, D-Max already had a shout out. <laughs> D-Max got his shout out during the break. But I, I appreciate you uh, being as proactive as you're being. I do appreciate it. Uh, it's only when people raid in that Chibi Tan takes a while to shout them out. If they speak, it just shouts them out straight away. So it's definitely something to do with the way I've queued things up. They're repeating shout outs from the break. Well, as D is part of the mod team, I have a uh, button that uh, that shouts him out. <laughs> Okay, we're not going back to the shop because we have literally no money. <laughs> well, not literally no money, but we have basically no money. Shojo! Hello, Shojo! Uh, we appear to have interrupted them in during drinky time. <laughs> DMAC doesn't exist. Chibi Tan has spoken. I think that may be the way D prefers it, to be honest with you. Key. Ku. Car. We should probably swap these out for new characters at some point, but I'm not gonna be streaming for that much longer. So okay, they're gonna they're gonna. The enemy intention is unknown. Uh, excuse you. That looks like a debuff to me, and I uh, I have earned the right to to know what you're up to. There is no DMAC, only Zool. Yep. Um <clears throat> I don't know if that's like a mistake or it's because we're fighting the shojo. Um but I'm gonna I'm gonna rage. We're we're very angry now. Oh jeez, they they poisoned themselves. The heck? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so yeah, the enemy intention is unknown because the enemy is too busy getting drunk to give a shit about us punching them. I think it's that the monster doesn't know itself. It's just doing its own thing. Cool. Cool. We've got two haiku book threes. Um, hmm. 
do I want to use a Hoku book and then waste two points? Not really. The strike guard. Okay, they're either going to buff or debuff this turn. <laughs> We're just punching a random drunkard on the street. Yeah, kind of. They started it. We're just going to finish it. N not in the street, in the forest. Yeah, that's true. Completely different. <laughs> Context is key, as they say. Drunky monkey. Yeah. Oh, oh, drunky monkey has friends. Shit. <laughs> Ruh -roh. Um. Cool. Ka. And ka. I like how we're just like, hold up a minute. I need I need to do my language studies. Okay. Oh, oh, this could be fun. Okay. We're gonna do that. And then we're gonna use haiku book three. We're gonna go ki. Ku. And key again. And we're gonna defend, defend, defend. Samurai tackle. <laughs> yes! That was satisfying. <laughs> Sam! Oh my gosh! Thank you so, so much for trusting me with your community today. Welcome in. What have you been up to? Oh, you're playing the Testament of Sherlock Holmes. How are you finding it? Hey, Halo. Welcome in. Welcome in, Raiders. Or Yokoso. Or Irashai. Whichever you prefer. Um, hi, I'm Hobby Ten. I am a variety streamer based in Scotland. My pronouns are they, them. Today, we are, instead of doing mini painting, we are learning some Japanese with a very Slay the Spire inspired game. Um, called Yuke and the Book of Yokai. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's very cute. It's in early access at the minute, so it's a little janky. And I've made some notes on things I'm going to tell the devs about. Um, but it's still really good fun. And it's really nice learning uh, Japanese. We're, we're learning hiragana at the moment, uh, which is one of the three writing systems in Japanese. Um, it's been really nice learning, or for me, relearning the, the hiragana as we've gone through so far. It's, it's good, it's satisfying. Hello, the proctologist. I have seen you in Zan's streams before. Thank you so, so much for that follow and welcome in. Hope you're having a lovely day. Solving stumbling through puzzles. That's kind of how it goes with the Frog Quest Sherlock Holmes games, isn't it? <laughs> Not that that's a bad thing because they're still really good fun. I'm really beginning to like how the game doesn't treat you like an idiot child while learning the basics. Kudos to the creators. I agree. Now, I think this is a pretty small dev team, if I'm not mistaken, because the developers are the publishers. <laughs> they have self-published this game. Doggo Pot was very sweet. Some of the puzzles are still janky, but I feel like it is improving upon the previous games. Though Sherlock is being painted very villainous in this one. Yeah. Yeah. Does Romaji count? I know more of that. Romaji totally counts. You've got to start somewhere. And Romaji is a nice, easy way to learn Japanese from a speaking perspective. Um, and you can, I think, learn Romaji in this as well. Um, so you can learn the pronunciation of words. But we're we're going straight in there with the alphabet. <laughs> Hello, Senna. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. When I see stuff like this, I get reminded of Sodom from the Street Fighter Alpha games. He's what we would call a giant weeb and had terribly broken Japanese as win quotes like Die job death car. Die job with death car. Oh my god. Oh my god. Die job, die job with death car is. Are you okay? <laughs> it is not die job death car. Oh yeah, never start with kanji. 
Kanji is way too hard. Um, Hiragana is the best place to start and that will give you a nice grounding for when you get to doing Kanji as well because Kanji you can usually find Furigana which is little Hiragana over the top of various Kanji to help you learn what the Kanji say. Um, so yeah Hiragana is the best place to start and that's what we're doing here. Um, this game actually right at the beginning asks what your level of proficiency in Japanese is so you get to pick where you start in the scale. We've gone for absolute beginner and it's been very kind to us and as Modhel said already it doesn't talk down to you when it's teaching you the basics which is wonderful. You can learn grammar and vocab with Ramaji in parallel to learning kana and then later on kanji. Yeah exactly which is how I studied it at uni. From Fatal Fury, which is the Street Fighter universe. <laughs> Ooh, we, we've got a knowledgeable one in chat. Fatal Fury is SNK, you mean Final Fight. Ooh, could this be a, a regional naming difference thing? So we won 13 yen there. Ah, uh, no, okay. Easy mistake to make, Poro, it's all good. We got a smoke bomb! And we get to pick a card, what we got? <gasps> Tanuki's Trickery! Choose one card from your draw pile to place on top. Oh, I like that. Play Tanuki's Trickery. Next turn, Samurai Tackle. <laughs> I'm a two-year-old with a bad memory level currently, as I haven't practiced in a while. My wife is conversational as her mum is from Hokkaido. Oh, that's so cool! Tanuki, Tanuki, Tanuki. Well, we've got to, don't we? we we've got to. Um, that, that's really cool, Proctologist. Um, I can see why you'd want to learn properly then. Uh, but yeah. I am in a similar boat because I last actively studied Japanese when I was at uni, which was more years ago than I care to admit to. It was over a decade ago. Um, and I've had no one to like converse with and practice with since then. So the depth of my Japanese practice has been going, they're saying that wrong, um, when watching YouTube videos with slow or um, like just saying random bits of Japanese that have stuck with me to slow over the course of the day. Like I'll ask him what the time is in Japanese and I've asked him so many times now that he actually knows what it means and knows how to answer me. Uh, but he answers in English. Tanuki have the coolest powers in Golden Sky Stories. They really do. They really do. Unfortunately, there are no Tanuki in um, the player group for Sunday. We have a Kappa, we have a Kodama, and we have a Wolf. But I'm, I'm very, very excited to see how they get on with the story that I've chosen for them. I'm mostly at, oh, I know that word or phrase when watching anime. Yeah. SMT3 Nocturne Remastered is 10 bucks on Steam for those intro. Oh, no, no. I can't have more SMT in my life. I love Megaton so much, but I can't do that to myself again. At least you've picked up a bit from watching. Yeah. Hey, Carve, welcome in. I hope you're doing well today. I know a scary amount of Japanese vocab just on media consumption alone. I've always had a knack for languages. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. I love that. <gasps> Roku Roku B! Oh my gosh! So folks that saw me play uh, Ghostwire Tokyo will have seen these folks in um, in that because we had to chase some Roku Roku Bs. This is the, the cutest one I've ever seen. Look at her little face! It's Steam Deck verified. I don't have a Steam Deck so that bit doesn't really fuss me. But like, I, I love the Mega Ten games so much but they are... They are time vampires and I do not have time for any more time vampires. I barely have time for the ones I have. Cool. Oh, I didn't switch the characters out again. So we've been learning these ones for a few fights now and I'm quite comfortable with them. I've remembered them now. Um, so I should have switched them out, but oh, that's fine. We're probably only going to do a few more fights. I want to try and get to the big beefy monster before we finish up. Uh, cool. And key. The 
the old Shogun series makes a big deal of teaching Anjin Japanese on screen so you inevitably pick up mom. That's cool. That's really cool. I think you can only do five at a time. So... Let's have a look. Oh no, we can do more. Sure, Let, let's let's add them in. Wake up. I thought we could only do um, five at a time from what was said, but no, it's a minimum of five. Maximum of as many as we like. Okay. We'll see how it goes. Oh, Slow is cooking his dinner. Please excuse the smoke alarm in the background, folks. I was not paying attention when I clicked that. That's fine. The smoke alarm will do that to you. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Wow, he's uh, he's really burnt something. I don't know what. Oh, maybe he's making pork ramen again. He normally makes pork ramen on Wednesdays. I'm just gonna mute my microphone until he turns the fucking smoke alarm off. There we go. That worked. <laughs> the second I mute myself. Sorry about that, folks. I didn't expect it to come through quite that clearly. Um... Right. Here's the plan. Car. Uh, key. Keep oh, your hands just off my berry. Jeez. Another raid. <laughs> e. <laughs> Fivel. Thank you so, so much for trusting me with your community today. Welcome on in, everybody. Yuck, sir. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Um, Fivel, what were you up to? So making instant toast with the plasma cutter again. I think he might be, yeah. Um, for anyone that's not been here before, hi, I'm Hobby Tan. I'm a variety streamer based in Scotland. My pronouns are they, them. And today we are learning some Japanese with Yuke and the Book of Yokai. And I'm having a lot of fun with it. Three raids so far. I know. Actually, no, four raids, because SK raided us earlier as well. Four raids. You lovely folks, thank you so much. <laughs> Just come up from the kitchen to shut my smoke alarm off. No, that, that was on here. I did apologize for the smoke alarm. Slow is cooking something and it went off. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Uh, Tabby, you're fine. Seriously. Doing the Forbidden West DLC, almost done. Wicked. How are you finding it? Are you enjoying it? And welcome in, Dash. I hope you're doing well today. Okay, so we've got four points. We are going to waste one of them, but that's okay. We're going to smack her. We're going to double our armor to 18, and then we're going to Samurai Tackle. That's a nice bit of damage for one turn. I'll take that. I'll take that. I don't mind wasting the point of energy because that went really well for us. Uh, eh. Ooh. Coo. Hmm. We have another haiku book. So, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. Ku. Uh, ka. U. Five armor. Rage. Punch. Punch. <laughs> So we're going to take a little bit of damage next turn, but she's dead next turn. They've upped the price of the old shotgun box, probably to cash in on the new series. Yeah, more than likely. Uh, oh. Ku. Ki. Hmm. 
You just poison her right at the end. It's a little excessive, but... We got some yen, a smoke bomb, and we can pick a card. You should pay to remove punches from your deck in the next shop. Maybe. Maybe. It's good to have the punches there as a backup. I really want to play Ghost of Tsushima. It looks really fun. I don't think I want any more cards in my deck right now. So let's go back and we'll skip that bit. Oh, here it is. Here it is. The big guy. This is what we've been waiting for. Are we going to die here? Probably. Probably. But I want to see what the big guy is. Oh, we're so close to the end, actually. Okay. Maybe we'll try for the end. I want to see what's at the end. <gasps> Oni! Oh my gosh, you're so cute! Look at this little guy! No worries at all, Five. Will you put your feet up in the Lurker's Lounge? Thank you again for that raid. Have a good rest. Raiders that have come in as well, if you need to raid and rest, by all means do. Meet Mecha Maintenance is super important here. I am getting overexcited about a Japanese language learning game um, and forgetting to remind people to take care of their Meet Mechs, but please do. Uh, don't feel like you have to stick around if you need to go and rest. But equally, the Lurker's Lounge is huge and there's plenty of comfy seats in there. So if you just want to hang out in there, go for it. Okay. Car. Car. Ah. Oh no, it's off. Oh, I made my own mistake there. I was pointing out earlier how similar the two are, but that one has a very important difference, and I forgot. We are gonna... Oh, we've given ourselves extra energy, I think. Or not? Oh, shit! Okay, I just clicked on the smoke bomb instead of actually reading what it did. Um, so that was a waste. Oh, well. Sadogami. Monkey man. On the plus side, we survived the fight with the Oni, <laughs> which is good because we don't have a lot of health. E. I wonder if, if if I'd kept the smoke bomb, if I could have just used that in the final fight. <laughs> Key. No loot drop. Yeah, I know. They're going to do nine damage to us. So let's... Let's let that not happen. Reject modernity, return to Monke. Yep. We don't need any more armor, so we're just gonna punch him. See, if we had something uh, on your note earlier, Poirot, if we had something that allowed our armor to persist between rounds, I would 100% just get rid of all the punches in my deck. Um, but... Ah. Uh, e. Ka. Um, because we don't get to keep any of our armor. Basically, Dash, yeah. Basically. We're not bleeding, so that's no good for us. I, I may as well get rid of this next time we have an opportunity to remove cards, because it's done nothing for us all game. <laughs> we can't even uh, armor ourselves up right now. Um... Putting the poison at the top because we can't do anything with the cards we've got left anyway. But now we can poison them. Key. Car. Oh, don't make the same mistake as last time. What have we got? Okay. They're poisoned now. And they're going to defend next turn, so no point in using defense cards right now. Ku. Ki. Ke. Uh, so yeah, for anyone that's 
come in more recently. You've got your little book of... Um, so you've got... We're, we're just looking at the Kana right now. Um, and you can select as many as you like. Minimum of five. Maximum of we don't know. Um, I think it's just all of them. And... Um, to actually be able to get energy to play cards, you have to answer which symbol is the correct symbol. Um, when you feel you know one well enough, you can hibernate it, but you can also bring it back um, if you want a refresher. And as you can see from here, we've got Kana, we've got Kanji, we've got vocabulary, and we've got grammar that we can learn through this game. So it's all encompassing, really, uh, which is neat. Um, but it's still in early access, so it's got it's it's got some some little janky bits. Like every single enemy highlight has one of those, like the little bit that appears there. Um, the pick a card screen is off to the left instead of centered. Little things like that that are a little fucky. Um, but the gameplay itself is pretty solid. Okay. We don't really need armor right now, but there's nothing else we can do. Use it or lose it. And Monkey Man's going to be dead soon anyway. Ka. Ah. And ke. Okay, we'll gain armor. We'll double our armor. Samurai Tackle. He's down to one health and he's got one round of poison left, so he's going to die before he gets to do anything. I think. Yep, there we go. Indirect death. Yes. I didn't kill him. The poison killed him. <gasps> Danga! I love Danga! She's a card to pick from the draw pile, converts to Danga. Two, three on use. Okay, so we've got a three use dango. Oh, dash, big hugs. Some yen. I'm just opening the pick a card screen every time in the hope that there's a heal in there somewhere. Um, no luck. Okay. <gasps> we got a kappa and a big kappa and I don't have any cucumbers because I didn't buy any more. Why am I not able to say no to food? Oh boy, do I know that feeling. Where do we change the characters? Uh, we do that in here. So we can... Um, you can do it in the middle of combat as well. So we could do it now. I, I don't want to. We're so close to the end. <laughs> I'm being cowardly. Um, because we've only got 22 hit points left. Oh. Care. Kuh. Okay, so this guy is gonna, um, attack us next turn. this guy's gonna um block so i'm hitting him so that we take some damage uh, some health off of him before his armor goes up and i'm poisoning him he's got persist as well so that's a bit of a problem but it's fine uh i could use my haiku book and only spend two points hmm do I keep it for later? We're going to take damage this turn either way. Because we got no armor. Oh, I could have used my Dangar though, couldn't I? We'll do that next turn. If we need to. Okay, so this is the turn when we... Uh, when we use items. So... Ah... Uh, Oh. 
we... Oh, jeez, that's, that's a lot of attack. We rage. We eat a dango. We use the haiku book. Uh, ka. Ka. E. Uh, we... Hit them. Get five armor. Eat another dango. Uh... <laughs> okay, and now we're not going to take any damage. Him with his persist is going to be a problem. Ka. Ka. E. Um. Oh, because I don't have anything in my discard pile. Silly me. Because it has to be from the, the burnt pile. Yeah, nothing in the burnt pile. Oh. Okay. So the first bite of the dangle is something out of your deck. Second one is discard pile. Third one is burn pile. So if you have nothing in your burn pile, or nothing that can burn, you can't use the, the third dangle. That's really neat. That's a clever little idea for an item. I like that. Um, let's go for some extra armor, I guess. Uh, ka. Ah. Uh. Slash, and we'll strike guard, and that's going to keep us alive for another turn. <laughs> oh, what I'd give for a cucumber right now! Oh, ka, ku. Or, you know, the poison that I wasted on the Oni. Or the smoke bomb that I wasted on the Oni. Four armor. Uh... Put poison at the top of the deck. There's no point in... Because I want to deal with this guy first, really. Okay. Ka. Ki. Okay, strike guard. Strike guard. Not even that it's a workaround of the item system instead of uh, charges or an esoteric way of writing about charges, which is why I thought it was written like that. Hmm, fair enough. Uh, ah. Key. Key. <laughs> the 
this this is getting out of hand now. And I'm going to take six damage because I didn't have enough armor in my hand there. Oof. Ooh. Ka. Ka. Okay. I've got enough to protect me against an, an attack. I'm going to poison this guy. Because uh, it's the only way I'm getting through that shield anytime soon. Uh, eh? Key. Ooh. gonna bring his um shield down a little bit because uh there's no point in wasting that on him yeah that makes sense dash oh ah uh. it's neat that it's not just like you lose a charge of the item though like there's the, there's more to it than that wow that was really hard for me to say why was that so hard for me to say <laughs> uh... okay that's enough to protect me from damage let's have strike guard on top of the deck so it comes into my next hand I'm going to take the one point of damage. I'm going to take the hit. It may have been a silly idea, but I'm never going to get anywhere if I don't do damage to them. Ah. Uh, e. That's exactly enough armor to protect against that, so we'll poison this guy again. Oh, that's going to be just enough poison to kill him. I won't have to deal with the armor. Beautiful. <laughs> Ka. Ku. Ooh. Feeling much better about things all of a sudden, can you tell? <laughs> uh, okay. We are about to take quite a lot of damage though. Because there is nothing I can do about that. Oh, we dodged! We dodged everybody! We might just... We might just survive! <laughs> Just barely, but we might just survive. Ka. E. Ku. Okay. Okay. This needs to be all about the armor right now. Um, Eleven's the best I can do, so we're gonna we're gonna take one point of damage. Okay, I thought the little kappa was gonna die before it attacked me. 
it is a miracle that we managed to dodge the big kappa. <laughs> that would have killed us. That would have killed us. Cool. Uh, ah. Uh. Oh. I, I am terrified for my life, folks. Terrified for my life. Oh, they're dead. <laughs> they're dead. Finally. <gasps> we got a bonsai. No. Okay. <gasps> Eternal God. No, no. <laughs> Why would you do this to me, game? I got a heal and persist in the same draw pile. How am I supposed to choose? <laughs> I have literally 8 HP left. Cripple with indecision. Because the thing is, I could, if I got heal, I could use it and then pull it out of the burn pile with my dango. Choose so far either way. Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, but persist armor between turns would be so useful. Mm. Like literally, we only get one. 5 HP heal per fight. Normally. Yeah. It. Uh, both of them are if you draw it early enough. Really. In, in my current situation. <laughs> Fuck it. Persist armor. Start. Does that mean I lose this? Or does it mean it discards what's already like one hp isn't helping me much anyway no we're gonna skip that oh sleepy time ha oh, oh, ha yes dear god give me health 26 out of 60 oh i like the yawny in the background when you do that that's nice okay <gasps> Tengu! I don't want to fight Tengu! Why does- why do games make me fight Tengu? Tengu are lovely burp friends! Ka. Ku. E. I'm- I'm sorry Tengu, I don't want to do this to you. I say, throwing a firebomb at them. We got the uh, persist armor. <laughs> I don't want to do the Molotov. <laughs> yeah, it me. Uh, car. Ooh. Now we've got Eternal Guard and we've got quite a lot of armor, so we are gonna use our Haiku book. E. Ah. Uh. Ka. The music is making me second guess my knowledge of the hiragana that we have. Okay, so we persist armor. We gain four armor. We gain four armor. We smack him and we gain more armor. So we're only going to have a little bit of armor left after he hits us. Yeah, but at least we still have armor. Eh. Ooh. Um. He's gonna hit us for ten. Samurai tackle's not worth it right now. Um. We could rage. 
which does as much damage as our two hits do, um, but means that we lose out on an additional four armor. But it also increases the damage we do for the next three turns. Ah. Seriously, this music seems like such a tonal shift. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with the Rage um, because he's going to hit us for 10. So all of this armor is not going to persist past this turn anyway. And that means next turn and two turns after we can do extra damage to him, which feels like it would be useful. And we dodged! Brilliant! Brilliant! Marvellous! Love that for us. Eh. There are no consequences to my actions. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. What am I doing? It's car. Um, cool. We now lose out on a, a stat buff because I was a silly. But that's okay. Deal five damage. We dodged! We are no longer agile though, so that's not going to happen again. Don't fuck it up this time, Hobbs. Oh. Oh. <laughs> We've basically gone, oh. Oh. Ah! Okay. Okay. We, we've hit a little dent in his health, right? Right? Oh! Bye bye, shields. E. Ka. Key. I don't think we're going to survive this. Ooh. Oh. Ah. Armor surge, don't mind if I do. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I can work with that. <laughs> We are frail, though. Ah. Uh, ku. U. Is this frail? That's still frail. Okay. 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 We're, we're fine. We've got this. We've got this. Uh, e. <clears throat> Care. <sighs> this is stressful. Eh. Care. Oh, I should have used that second. Oh, well, too late now. <clears throat> okay. You were right, Mod Hell. That was the right choice. As much as I wanted the health, that was the right choice. Ka. Eh. Ooh. We 
just smacked him for 21, which is nice. Ka. Uh, ah. Ka. Still nothing in my burn pile. <laughs> I have no cards that can burn. Ka. Ku. Ah. Okay, so he's gonna either buff himself or debuff us next turn. He's gonna double us for 12. Fuck. I'm not sure I'm gonna survive this. Oh, I will survive it, but just barely. Oh, man. We are probably. We dodged! We dodged! Oh my god! Ka! Um. Ooh. Ki. Oh my god, we dodged! <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I was fully braced to die right then and there. Key. Air. Car. But not today. Not today, everybody. We're gonna up our armor a little bit and we're gonna poison him because we've got a nice amount of armor now. I'm feeling brave. <clears throat> Practice enduring me like I spend hours looking at half naked chicks, but it's purely for academic interest. Yes, of course it is, of course it is. This is business, not pleasure. Ka. Ku. Ke. We have exactly enough armor to defend ourselves against both attacks. Oh no. This is where it gets scary. E. Ah. Car. Okay, no, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> we're fine. Car. Ooh. <sighs> this is very stressful. <laughs> This may be the end. You've been a worthy opponent. I will teach you Tengu's feather skill if you leave now. Otherwise, prepare to die. Do you accept Tengu's offering? Tengu's feather, redirect next attack to another enemy. I don't think I can win this fight.
but we've come so far. I don't know what to do. What do we, what do we think, chat? Do I go down in a blaze of glory or do I take the feather and fuck off? You think take the feather? I bet in the full game there's going to be an achievement for going no fight. It's very thematic to take the feather. It is, yeah. He knows I've got him beat, right? That's why he's offering me the feather. It's definitely not that he feels bad about the idea of stomping me. Right? Right? <laughs> okay. I'll, uh... I'll take the feather. You chose wisely. You won! Oh, we still technically win. And we made it to the Kyushu region. Uh, but that is where we're going to finish up for the evening. Because <laughs> I'm hungry. Um, but this has been really fun. I really, 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 really enjoyed this. Oh my god, we could have banned on the run. We're not going to abandon on the run. We're going to leave that. I appreciate that you can bring it to the... That looks different to when we started, doesn't it? Or is that just me? Have I f just forgotten what it looked like? I might have done. Um, yeah, this has been really fun. I quite like this. I will definitely play more of it. I will definitely play more of it off stream. I will definitely play more of it when it comes out of early access. Um... But yeah, it, it... thank you very much to the publishers for giving me a copy Goodbye. of this game for free. I really do appreciate it because this has been really fun and I've enjoyed sharing it with you all. Um, again, if you do want to get yourself a copy of Yuke and the Book of Yokai, it is currently in early access, but you can get it at the link there that Chibi-Tan has uh, put into chat. Uh, we do have a giveaway active on the stream. Exclamation mark prize will tell you more about that if you're interested. Uh, and I am going to do the giveaway now, so um, you are running out of time to enter if you do want to. I'm going to take us through to the ending screen and then I will draw the giveaway. Okay. Right, this is your last call for uh, entering the giveaway if you do want to. I will count you down before I close it. Please do not edge my timer because it will not end well for you. You have five... Four, three, two, one. And a little bit for the lag. The giveaway is closed. And as we only had one entrant who purchased 10 tickets, our winner by default is Valcyon. Congratulations. Stream elements can't do maths. That's one of the many reasons Chibi Town doesn't like it. Um, I will send you that code a little bit later. Congratulations, Valcyon. Um, so, massive, massive thank you to everyone that's come along today. I hope you've had a good time. I certainly have. This has been really fun. I've really enjoyed sharing this with you, as I already said. Special thank yous today go to SK the Dom fan, Doom Cheridan, Zan, and Fival for those raids. And also to Poirot and Doom Cheridan for the resubs. Thank you very, very much. Oh, thank you, Zan. Thank you again for that raid. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for bringing your community here and hanging out with us. It's been good fun. Um, yeah, but whether you are subbed or not, whether you are following or not, whether it's your first time here, whether it's your thousandth time here, I really do appreciate everyone that comes along and hangs out and whether you chat or not as well. Like, we love our lurkers just as much as we love our chatters. Um, you make the bar what it is, so thank you very much every single one of you for being here and supporting the channel in all the ways that you do no matter what that is oh i intend to torpor don't worry you're most welcome valcyon and congratulations again on winning the giveaway uh okay what else do i need to tell you i will be back on friday there is a poll in the saint jude fundraiser uh to decide what we play on Friday, if you want to do that. If you don't, then I will pick something. 
<laughs> Simple as. Um, and I think I might know what it is because we've got some milestones that I need to start um, making good on my promises of, or threats of, however you want to look at that. So it might be one of the milestones from the St. Jude fundraiser, we'll see. Uh, depending on if anybody puts any money into the poll instead. So yeah, I think that's everything. Um, I've already talked a little bit about the changes to the stream admin over the weekend, but I will talk more about that um, on Friday when it's close to the time. So I think that's everything. Right. So now I just need to find someone to send you all off to. Um, what else do I need to do? No, no, that's it. That's definitely it. <sighs> okay, who's live? Who do we want to go see? Who do we want to go see? Who haven't we seen in a while? We saw Reevesy recently. Oh, I tell you what, I know exactly where we're going because they're still live. We are going to go and see our friendly neighborhood cryptid Flint Stride, who is currently playing Hellblade 2. Um, and is where I was before I started streaming today, so. Um, yeah, if you're not already following Flint, please do drop them a follow. Absolutely wonderful, lovely, wholesome community as well. Super thirsty, so you folks will fit in perfectly. Um, but yeah, try and join in on the raid if you can. It always makes a streamer's day to see people bursting in like, RAID! Um, even if you can't stick around. Uh, but it would be really appreciated if you can uh, join in on the raid. Um, yeah. Right. So yes, I've already told you I'll be back on Friday. With something. We don't know what yet. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you then. But until I do see you next. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Wash your fucking cucumbers. And have a great rest of your week, everyone. However you're spending it. Now, go tell Flint they're a good boy. <laughs> <laughs>